Off top, guys, I have to preemptively apologize for the beginning of this video. As you can see with how I'm moving it, there's not a lot of space outside of ads for New Jersey 101.5. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. And by the way, muscle milk sucks. All right. <laughs> like it's very chalky. I don't know how people can claim to like it. Uh, Amani Kildia. Black man's hanging oh my goodness black man's hanging in new jersey park is ruled a suicide but many not so sure this is written by sergio bachao or bachao y'all see what i gotta deal with okay so <laughs> investigators say that the hanging death of a 20 year old black man at a morris county park was suicide and does not appear to be a crime but a local black lives matter activist and others aren't convinced and have suggested without having evidence that th he may have been lynched the body of Emmanuel Amani Kildia, a Washington Township resident who was known online for his work exposing alleged child diddlers, was found on the afternoon of June 28th by visitors at Lewis Morris Park with a cord around his neck that appeared to be tied to a tree. Oh my god, these, these ads, these ads. On Wednesday, in response to online comments suggesting that Kildia might have been killed, Morris County Prosecutor Frederick Knapp issued a written statement saying that the medical examiner's office had determined Kildia's death to be a suicide and that there is no cause to believe that any criminality, that there was any criminality involved. The Morris County's prosecutor, but you know that's not good enough for them, right? Like, 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 it's the system. The system's designed to cover up such things, so. The Morris County's prosecutor office ordinarily does not issue public statements on active investigations, Knapp's statement said. However, given the fact that unsubstantiated statements have circulated on social media, there exists there there exists oh okay there exists a need to provide more information to the public at this time. On Friday, the prosecutor released a second statement to clarify that the investigation into the death remains open and has not concluded, and he has to because Jersey's media is trash okay they are gonna like you got the the the, the, the news 12s the njd tvs they're all you know very very left to the you know socialist marxist communist side so thusly any opportunity that they see to be like oh my goodness yes they, they, we have a lynching these brothers is getting lynched round in round out they they gonna take and they will not take no for an answer as of this time, no evidence of a criminal act has yet been found. However, our efforts to determine what occurred remain very active, Knapp said Friday. We have followed and continue to follow all investigative leads and will go where the evidence takes us. Hanging deaths of black men. Kadia, who was born in Ethiopia, was adopted in 2005 when he was five by the Kildias, a white family from Long Island. Kildia's family described him as exceptionally bright, sensitive, tender-hearted, gentle, and kind. Because, you know, you're not going, what do you want? What? Like, that's the thing. Like, why are you asking people about people after their death? Because when you ask people about people after their death, they're always going to be, like, no, they will deify them for the most part. Unless they're just like a complete, unless they completely hated him. His father, Lutheran church pastor Tom Kildia, said on Facebook in a post that is no longer publicly available that his son has taken his own life. Kildia's obituary also mentions that his death was a suicide. He felt deeply, uh, he felt deeply, observed closely. He was broken in the ways, in ways that could, that very few could see or would ever know, his father wrote. Although life with Amani was often challenging at home, we loved him dearly. His departure from us and from this world is an unspeakable tragedy for us all. But many people who either knew Kildia or recently learned about him are struggling to accept the fact that the smiling athletic man who in February had graduated from basic training in the Army Reserves was set to enroll at James Madison University in the fall and was planning a career with the FBI or CIA would have taken his own life. Well, that's the thing. In his his father in, in his adoptive father is the one that's sitting here saying like yo he was flawed we had some issues with him at the crib loved him we had some issues with him at the crib and now the the the, the statement's not publicly available hmm I'm, I'm, I wonder how many dollars they tossed this way. Kildia's death is the latest in a series of hangings of black men across the country that were quickly deemed suicides by California investigators. Conclusions that were met by incredulous relatives and activists who, in the wake of a national movement confronting the nation's struggle, say, <laughs> so, um, yeah, Let, uh, the deal is. Uh, yeah, you're you're press you're you're pressing um for they're pressing for more information and they're trying to tie it now because here's the they're trying to tie it now to this. 
because he was involved with this uh, show up here on the platform called Pedo Got Caught. And so I want you guys to, you know, let, let's watch just a little bit of it and see if this possibly had any um, role in his death. What was your name again? Cantor, that's my Uber. I don't know if he's waiting for me or something. Just so we can take a little, a little walk. Let's come on. Yes. Yes, this is the realest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is this is to catch a predator 2.0. Oh my Christ. Seriously, chats cannot be shown due to investigation. Chats cannot be shown because look, look, look at all this guys. Come on. Let's go all the way to the end of the episode because this is just so clearly um one of like this is like a whole genre on the platform of ultimately staged, um, you know, uh, investigations into kid diddlers, you know? Like, come, come on, let's go. Intent. That's all it is. You were here to meet him for sex, correct? You were going to have sex in your room with him. A 15-year-old boy. Mm-hmm. No, he's not listening. Our job's to clean the streets from filth like you. My... Yeah. Oh my goodness. This was <laughs> Look. It is tragic that Mr. Kildia is no longer of this earth, okay? It, it really is. Um I, I don't mean to laugh. I, you know you guys know how I am. You either laugh or you cry, and I'd be crying seriously because it's sad that he's gone, but to the the BLM folks will definitely try to make this uh, a thing. They're trying to draw all this out into a pattern. But I am of this mindset that if the father, the the adoptive father, made a statement saying how yo he he had his troubles, the everybody else right, like everybody everybody else, all of his friends and stuff like that. Like I'm sorry, you're not gonna trump the the man that you know spent ultimately spent the most time with him, the the man that you know got to know him better than you ever could. He himself came out and said that he had some issues. So, you know, I just wanted to use, uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, just really use this as an opportunity to remind everyone that there are people out there that are looking to, you know, racially antagonize and to, you know, to, to poke at the animus that has, according to the media, grip the nation but yeah I, i'm 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 just i'm not there i'm not there so you know rest in peace mr uh Kildia. with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it so i said like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to give videos like this every single day share because sharing is scaring and youtube and bitch you don't like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments it's sad. It is tragic, without a doubt. And particularly the ads on New Jersey 101.5. Tragedy ensues, right? But <laughs> at the same time, um, you know, to try and draw, to, to make all these leaps and bounds and conclusions, I believe is, you know, just more more animus that the media wants to, you know, they, they keep trying to keep that, that fire going. They really are. And, Nah, we're not following for it. But you may have, and if you have, that's what I have a comment section for, all right? Until the next one.